let's compare the Intel Core i5-4250U with i3-4010U. The first uh, thing you should note down that both of them are Haskell processors that you can see from the first uh, uh, digit starting after IX, which is 4. Secondly, both of them are ultra low voltage processors, which are really for thin notebooks. Third, the i5 means you have the turbo core turbo enable, which is the processor can dynamically increase its frequency when required, and this increase in the frequency will last for only a, a little bit of time before the processor starts consuming too much of the heat. Now, that being said, let's take a look at the, some of the basic specifications. You can see if i5 that 4250U is actually uh, clocked lower than i3 4010U. However, the i5 that 4250U had a much higher turbo clock frequency, and in the real world, this is what going to benefit. It will keep the i5 4250U processor section relatively lower powered and whenever it is required you have the processing power required to complete your given task. And let's take a look at the past mark score. Uh, the past mark a benchmarking score it proves that the i5 4250U is significantly better than i3 4010U. Now there is one question. What i5 4250U does is in the intermediate graphics is that it uses the available thermal power for increased graphics performance. And that's why i5 4250U uh, has used HD graphics 5000 in place of HD graphics 4400. And that will provide about 10 to 15 percent better performance in graphics. Now, Apple loves those graphics performances and that's why it has used i5-4250U in most of its uh, notebooks. In terms of TDP rating, they are about the same. Both of them, they are actually the same. Both of them are at 15 watts. Let's take a look at some of their specifications on uh, Intel website. Here you go. If you look at their key parameters um, let's see what, where we are well both of them are flat core and with the hyper threading enabled same number of smart cache or LC cache in terms of pricing the i5-4250U is priced slightly higher and it's obvious it, it has higher performance it's better in the graphic at the same time the performance difference the price difference is not so high so if you are looking for a better graphics as well as processor performance the increase in the price is worth it that's what we saw the intel hd graphics that's pretty much uh, most of the difference in this comparison hope you like it leave your comments below